You might find this hard to believe, but I've not always been a confident man. I used to work in this office and this young guy started. And on my break, I used to hear the women saying, Oh, isn't he good looking? Wow, he's so good looking. Oh, what a shame, he's so short. Behind his back they said this so often. I began to feel sorry for him. Poor guy. Imagine how hard it must be being that short. Then at the Christmas party, he starts looking at me because I was looking at him. What? You're the same size as me. That was hard. To make things harder, I got divorced. Here I was, 50, single, and now aware that behind my back, all women thought I'd never measure up. My mood was like this. But then I read a statistic. The average height of Aussie men, my size. Oh my God, I was stunned. Surely it can't be true. But when I went down to the mall and had a look around, oh my God, the majority of men were my size or even smaller. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about natural selection? If women prefer tall men, shouldn't all the short men be bred out? That's how it hit me. Charles Darwin was a very, very clever man. He just wasn't clever enough. I, Jim Psychotopoulos, by simply being, had disproved the main mechanism of evolution. Survival of the fittest. Or had I? There was one other explanation, a complex idea which I honed into my own three word theory. Are you ready? Ferraris versus Hyundai's. This is me owning a Ferrari sitting in a cafe. Hey! Malaka! Get away from my car! By the way, this is uh, my new girlfriend. She's Romanian. Her name's Ludmilla. See, when you become an alpha male, you attract the alpha females. Eh? Eh? Ludmilla, say hello. Suit puller. What? Now, this is me owning a Hyundai sitting at a cafe. See? You can't build a house on a Ferrari. But you can build a suburb on a Hyundai. Or at least that's the communal illusion. So, my crestfallen friend, if evolution has left you looking like a second-hand Hyundai, one of the older models with no factory air conditioning, no two things. One, secretly, you are in high demand. And two, Underneath that aquamarine, that nice aquamarine paint, your red brother, right the way down to those two golden stallions, one for each. <laughs>